What's going on guys, my name is Kyle, this is the game department, and today we're, we're gonna do a, a little tutorial. It's a little bit different, something a little, something you might not be used to, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. It helped me a lot when I first found out, and I'm sure there's probably some of you out there that, that, that are unsure and you wanna know how to do it. So today we're gonna talk about how to get animated icons and wallpapers and all sorts of fun stuff on your stream deck. So, so buckle in. <laughs> Okay, so when you open up the Stream Deck software for the very first time, this is essentially what you're going to get. I've started a new profile so you guys get a bit of an idea of, you know, a brand brand new product and then we'll, we'll, we'll do the rest from there which is super fun. So I've got two little links in the description below. The first one will take you to this website here which is streamdeckfx.de. So it says here, 399 animated Elgato Stream Deck key effects, which to be honest, I, I've had a look around for a lot of different icon packs and things like that. And this has to be the best one, without a doubt in my mind. So essentially it'll show you exactly what it comes with. These are all the little icons up here. So you have a pulse, all of these different colors, it'll show you what they do. A soft pulse, aurora, uh, color flow, floating lines, inclined lines. There's a bunch of different things. These particles, waves, palm trees, these circular pulses, which is what I use on my profile. You've got these gooey ones, which I use as well. I think they look sick. Swipe lines, these exclusive ones. So like the rain, I use this one for my voice effects. Um, water, uh, beach, like there's just so much stuff that, that it comes with. This white noise, these trace lines, which I love. I think they look great. Um, and then this interstellar layer profile. There's just, so, what I'm trying to say is there's a bunch of different stuff, okay? So it's a really, really nice way to get some, some wicked looking colors and animated icons on your stream deck for free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, and then I'll have the link below so you can check that one out. The other pack that you're gonna find is this one. So this is a website called Sideshow FX. Now, these guys have a bunch of other products as well as free stuff. But if the top of the website, you'll see a free panel and this will be everything that you can essentially get. So they've got Photoshop sample packs, After Effects packs, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, things like that. And then if you scroll down the bottom, they've got these two animated wallpapers. Now these are the ones that I'm gonna use and show for this specific example, solely for the fact that they're the ones that I use. I have the Pac-Man one that I use as an idle wallpaper pretty much every time I'm not using my Stream Deck while it's powered. Um, so all you need to do is you need to click on these click download HUD1 wallpaper and you'll get a zipped file that you need to extract but I'll show you what you get inside of those as well. Same for the Pac-Man one, you need to do the, the download, extracting, blah 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 and as well with this one, the very 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 top you'll see here it will say 399 blah blah blah, download all heart for free. So you can download all of the hearts for free is, is, is what that button's no, download it, comes in a, in a compressed file, you extract it, you get all the goodies, very, very simple. So once you've downloaded all of these, you'll get uh, the zipped files, and in those zipped files, you extract them, and you will get these. So obviously the Pac-Man Stream Deck wallpaper is the Pac-Man, the HUD1, or the HUD1, that is the green, this one here, that's that wallpaper, and then you will also have the Elgato Stream Deck effects. Now, in the Stream Deck effects file, you'll see Aurora, Circle Pulse, you'll see all the stuff that you saw on that initial web page. All of these individual ones will be here. So let's say, for example, where was the Aurora? Aurora here, you've got uh, seven colors. When you go in here and you click Aurora, there you go. There's all your colors. You use those on your stream deck and they will illuminate and change and things like that. But I'll show you how to do that now anyway. So let's close this bad boy because it's not necessary anymore. So well, what we'll do is we'll do the icons first because they're the easiest ones to do essentially. Uh, the wallpaper one's a little bit trickier, but again, not, not really a big deal. Um, so let's say we'll use a Streamlabs OBS scene, okay? I'm going to delete this welcome tab because it's essentially nothing. It takes you straight to Elgato's support page for Stream Deck, uh, which is a nice little touch, I think, anyway. So let's say Streamlabs OBS, this is a scene change. So I don't have it linked to my Streamlabs on this computer, but I can still show you how to change the icons and do all the fun stuff. As I said, if you want a more in-depth Stream Deck tutorial down the track, let me know. I can do that as well. But right now, I just want to show you how to change the icons and change everything else within that. Okay, so once you've got your button allocated on your little layout, all you need to do is there's a little button just down here, a little arrow down. You click that, you click set from file. Now on your in your folder, the one that we, we found earlier, let's say Elgato Stream Deck Effects, you're gonna have everything that you're gonna wanna choose or everything that you, you, you may wanna select. So let's say for example, I really like the gooey look. 
I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. it looks like a lava lamp. Makes me feel nostalgic. Uh, let's say your vibe is blue and pink because who doesn't love that? You double click it, it'll change, and then you can see at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the Stream Deck actually changes live as well. So, where even when you move them, if you change them, everything on the Stream Deck will show in real time, which is great, and it gives you a really good idea of what that button is going to look like once it's actually live and changing on the Stream Deck, which is, is sick. So let's do another one. Um, let's change this one. We'll make this one a... Oh, I don't know. Dust. Because who doesn't like dust? Uh, we'll change that one to the blue and yellow. And you can see, very subtle. Very subtle, but, you know, some people dig it. Some people don't. It's up to you. That's what matters. Okay? Let's do one more. Because why not? We're on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. Set from file. Let's go swipe lines. Hey, I like these ones. Blue and yellow again. Fit with the theme. And you can see right there, real time, on the Stream Deck bottom right, it, it works flawlessly. I, I can't, I can't strike anything against it. It's fantastic. It genuinely is. It's so easy to use and anyone can do it. And that's the most important part. Now, let's go to something a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. Not, not ridiculous, but a little bit more difficult. So, to do the backgrounds, what you're going to need to do is you click the little gear in the top right. You go to Profiles. I've already got them both set up, obviously, because that's something that, that I've already had on my stream deck, but for the sake of the argument, we're going to do another one. So if you click on this tiny little arrow on the bottom right, you click Import. Now, on that little folder that we had earlier, you'll see Pac-Man's Stream Deck Wallpaper. You click that. Now, depending on the size of the Stream Deck you've got, if you've got the 15 key, which is the standard Stream Deck, or the extra large, which has 32 keys, I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, um, it's going to depend. But you can use this wallpaper for both. The developer of whoever made these has, has used both, which is fantastic. So, for us, we have the standard 15 key. You click the 15 key profile, and what that does is that comes up with a Pac-Man 15 key copy, and you can see straight away on the Stream Deck it's already running, and it already works, which is great. Okay, so now that one's on there, you go back to the original page you want to click the profile that you had it on and now if you go to stream deck you click switch profile you put that a specific icon for switch profile click here to set from file and now in the folder that you found that that original profile for the stream deck there will be a little icon here that they've made you click that and it's gonna have the pac-man icon and that's your your icon cover I guess or your, your icon button doesn't animate it's just a still image but once you click that it'll switch profiles to the pac-man profile so you need to click here you need to click pac-man 15 key I've done it obviously as a copy because I've already got it installed so you click pac-man 15 key and then that's it so when you push the button on the stream deck this bad boy right here it'll take you straight to that wallpaper it's literally as simple as that once you're finished or you want to get out of that all you need to do is just push any button and it will take you back to your profile. For me, it has taken me back to my, my everyday Stream Deck profile because that's what my, my default is. But all you need to do to change that, if you want to go to your default profile, is you see here it's got this little icon. That's my default profile. You click on the one you want and you click this little box here to say make that my default. It's very, very easy, super, super simple, and it, and it doesn't take uh, doesn't take a lot of effort. <laughs> so same thing, again, if we want to do the head, heads up display one, click this little arrow, click import, go back to the folder, the HUD1 Stream Deck wallpaper, same deal, 15 key, extra large, we have the 15 key, so we're gonna click that as the profile, and then bang, straight away, it'll do the automated animation on the Stream Deck. Um, close that, go back to profile one, and then switch profile underneath this you want to find the same folder click up the HUD one and again it'll have the wallpaper there it's only a still image but it'll give you enough of an idea to know what does what things like that click the profile you want to go SFX HUD one 15 key copy mine's a copy only because I already had it installed on my Stream Deck. And then same, same. Once you click that button, it'll take you straight to that individual profile. Um, to get out of it, you push any button. Now, if you have more than one background, like the Pac-Man background as well, nine times out of 10, it'll essentially cycle through. So if you click the Pac-Man, and then you click again, it'll take your heads up, 
and then back to your profile. Now the way that that works is the way that it sits within the orientation uh, before it gets back to the original profile, um, but not a big deal, not a big deal. If, you, if you're using the Pac-Man one, all you have to do is push it twice and it'll take you back to your original profile or your default profile, sorry, not your original, but your default. And again, because mine is the game department profile, it'll take me back there, but whatever you set as your default profile, that is the profile that it will take it back to. So super simple, really, really easy. And, and to be honest, it makes everything look a lot a lot more appeasing to you, to your eye, and, and makes it a little bit more personal, which is what we all love about technology, is we can make it our own. I don't know, man, I'm just saying. It's sick, I like it, I think it looks cool, and it's a really nice way to make it look a little bit nicer on your desk, so it's not just this blo block with colored lights. Now, as I said before, I've had this for the last month and a half, and for me, it has been fantastic. I use it every single stream. If you haven't checked out our stream and you would like to do that, I'll leave a link to it in the description. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It is a heck of a good time. If you want to check us out on any other social media, we are pretty much everywhere at the game department, whether that's Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, you, you here, Twitch, whatever. Just, you find us. Search the game department and you'll find us. There's no questions. Don't, don't ask too many. You'll be fine. Also, if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the content that I post, I post them every week on a Thursday. Feel free to subscribe. It's com completely free. Other than that, I hope you have a good morning. I hope you have a good night. Bye.